find the length of tangents to a circle from a given point. So we have a point negative 5, 8 and this circle here. We know that the centre of this circle is 2, 3. We half and change the sign of the x and y coefficients. The radius of this circle is given by the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Since we're squaring here, we can use the positive values of the centre points if we wish. So this becomes the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared minus 3. This evaluates to be the square root of 10. So now we have the centre and radius. Let's draw a little diagram of our, our circle. So we have a circle with a centre 2, 3, and we have a point negative 5, 8. Maybe the tangents might look something like this. Now both of these tangents length would be the same length because of symmetry. So now with the jawline and the centre going to the tangent, we know that this is perpendicular. This distance would be the radius. And I'm going to join a line from the two given points, the tangent point to the centre. This creates a right angle triangle with sides L, D and R. We know the radius. What we want to find is the distance between the two given points because then we could use Pythagoras theorem to work out what L is. We could use the distance formula for this. So the distance is the difference between the x value squared, that's 7 squared, and the difference in the y's squared. So when we evaluate this using the distance formula, we get a distance of the square root of 74. So we're almost there now. I'm just going to draw this triangle again a little bit bigger here. So we have a triangle with a side L, R and D. We know that R is the square root of 10, so the square on this will be 10. D is 74, the square on this will be 74. And L is uh, one of the smaller sides, so we take 10 from 74, because 74 is a hypotenuse, given 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. So by solving the, this triangle using Pythagoras, we can see that the tangent length must be 8 units.